I'm going to try this. Hey there guys, it's me Deeps here, Six here, back with another video, and today we are going to be, well, we, I am going to be showing, oh, oh stupid, I'm going to be showing you how to delete a, um, trust an installer file, um, pretty easily, so let's get right into this. As you can see, I copied this just in case it's important, but here, if we try to delete, Provide administrative permission to delete. You need permission from trust installer right there. So, the way to do this is right click, scroll down to properties, go right into security, and go to advanced. Now hit change, and then type in your username on your laptop. If you don't know what it is, hit the start menu, hover over that, and then it should say your username. So you can see mine is my YouTube channel, the ABC of Six. Hit check names, it'll come up with uh, your laptop name or PC name. So mine is the APC06 laptop slash user, which would be the APC06. So hit OK, then hit apply. It'll give you that warning. If you want to read that, go ahead. I don't, I just hit OK. Hit OK there, and then you want to exit out of this. There's a reason, because otherwise you can't change anything. So then you want to go back into here, over to security, hit edit. And basically just remove, 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 and remove trust installer. And then you want to add both of them, even though you know your user account would be like one of those two. Even if it is that, it won't let you do anything. So you just hit OK, it'll give you a warning. And then basically just deny that one. So keep that one and just hit allow for the other two. Hit apply. Hit yes. Hit yes. Then press OK and OK again. And now I should be able to hit delete. Goodbye file. And if I go over here, go to my desktop. Empty recycle bin. Goodbye. Gone. So that is how you manage to delete a file on Windows 10 when trust installer is the admin and you just want it gone, you want it out the window, chucked out the window okay. it was just the uh, one is admin prompt so I could change the name so yeah um, I've got OBS sorted out <laughs> so it is working hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button and hit that subscribe button you know the normal stuff hit that little notification bell i need to get like a little bell sound effect oh, i'll sort that out another day anyway see you guys next time goodbye no i will do this weird uh, no i'll figure this out